Hello students, this is your instructor for MOP homework help. Um, some of you are still having some issues with how to follow the correct directions and submit your answers, correct answers, by following the right books, the right coding guidelines, and to get better scores. So let me review. Okay, so um, a little delay, I'm still recording. Yes, I am. Okay, so textbook, medical coding, CPC, chapter four. Do you see how your section review 4.1 is right here? And this is where you have to be. This is your question number one. So you have three questions from section review one to review first and to figure out the answers before you do your quiz or homework on your homepage. So I want you to pay attention that you have a question given and this is ICD-10, okay? So we're always looking for diseases. You can see the person has a fracture. You can see the person also has been diagnosed previously with asymptomatic, sorry, symptomatic HIV. Anytime a person is diagnosed with HIV, you will always code it, that's a rule. Even if the person comes here for any unrelated condition in future, you will always code for HIV. That is one of the coding guidelines and you will see it yourself. Also note that it gives you an ICD-10 reference to follow the guidelines right here. It gives you four choices and not only do you have to follow all of these um, uh, codes in your ICD-10 manual, confirm it in the tabular section, but also put them in the right sequence. Do you see how the fracture code is given in the second sequence on your choice C? and the fracture code is in the first sequence on your choice D. This is what you have to make sure you have to follow the correct sequence, okay? Again, we go back to, uh, remember I just showed you your um, section 4.1 review, whichever page it is. I'm not showing pages because sometimes additions are a problem. So we go back a few pages. From this page, you will go back a few pages, the same chapter, the beginning, and you will find the human immunodeficiency virus page with all its coding guidelines given to you and a few examples right on the same pages. Make sure you understand the guidelines. Make sure you understand what are the different coding guidelines and how to apply them in an example. And then go back to your question. Follow the guidelines. Do you see how we have a guideline address link given to your coding manual? So now we go to your ICD-10 book, pick up your ICD-10 book, go to the table of content, and in my book it only says contents, in your book it could say table of contents. Please go to the content, it's in the very beginning of your book, and it will say introduction, ICD-10 coding guidelines, something like that, and I want you to look into it closer. And if nothing else seems similar to you, just follow the guidelines for coding and reporting. Once you see that, let's go to the first page of the introduction, turn over a page, find your section one. Remember, this is the address, the link that the question gave us, and that's what we are trying to find. So your section one is right here. And this is again, just like another content section for your introduction. So you go to section one and it says C. We'll find C right here. And then it says one, it's one right here, chapter one, certain infectious and parasitic diseases. And then it says A. So the A is human immunodeficiency virus. The rest we don't have here. You don't see a 2B because now we have to find this uh, location to go further into our A section because 2B is another subdivision of A. So let's follow that page, turn over a few pages, find your one, Section 1C, uh, I, sorry, section I, C, 1A, you're right here, maybe page 7 or 8. And then under that, you will see chapter 1, A, and 2, and B. That's, that's where we have to be, 2B. Okay, so patient with HIV disease admitted for unrelated condition. That is the coding guideline you are following because that's the question that has been given to you. Patient previously been diagnosed with symptomatic HIV. So review that as much possible as you can and uh, find the correct sequence of the questions or the choices given to you 
and then mark it down here before you do your homework and finish all the reviews first before you do your actual homework. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be more than happy to assist, assist, uh, assist you. <laughs> Thanks. Bye-bye.